Hey guys, it's me, Dr. Pravin Severwell from My Chiro Mobility, and I'm reporting from the Backmobile. It's all revved up, and I'm out doing house calls. I'm gonna go treat some people. Why? Because it's 12 degrees, it's March 7th, and the weather is out of control. It should be hovering around zero. When this happens, and it's raining, and the uh, barometric pressure in the air has changed drastically those suffering from headaches and migraines are not happy today so i woke up to a lot of messages come over i need you my headache is my headaches are out of control my migraines are my head's gonna explode basically right uh believe it or not chiropractic care works really well for headaches and migraines that's why i'm gonna be busy on the road today and i'm happy to help people out but why why do people get headaches when this happens, okay? Usually the people that are more, most susceptible to these kind of headaches when the barometric pressure changes in the air and there's huge temperature changes or when it's raining is that if you are somebody that tends to hold all the tension in your neck and shoulders and you always feel like your neck and shoulders are tight and stiff, you're one of the most um, common people to deal with something like this because what happens is uh, you have to kind of treat it kind of like an injury. So when you have tight muscles in your neck and shoulders, they already make you susceptible to injuries. So you may have heard before when somebody has arthritis or has broken a bone before or has some kind of muscle tension, we all know somebody that's unfortunately been in a car accident, for example. When it rains like this and... Um, and it's very damp and the temperature is like drastically change, they go through quite a bit of pain or they'll feel it right in that area, okay? You have to kind of think of that in the neck and shoulders area as well. When the barometric pressure changes like that, you're more susceptible and vulnerable to it than somebody that maybe is more relaxed or somebody that, you know, deals with, uh, deals with their tension, whether it's going to the chiropractor or a massage therapist and just keeps that tension down, okay? Um, so when this happens, everything starts to tighten up, okay? And when the muscles in your neck, especially at the top of the neck, start to tighten up, it causes a pressure in your head and therefore causes uh, headaches, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing with my patients today is I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna work out the tension at the base of the skull, throughout the neck, throughout the neck and shoulders, and then one of the most important things is an adjustment as well. Keeping those joints um, moving and loose also keeps the overall tension in the muscles down as well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because it was at the top of my mind. If you guys do know anybody dealing with chronic headaches, and stuff like that. I would love to help. Um, it is fixable. It is, and you are able to actually control them too. You don't have to suffer on a day like today. Okay. So I'm going to say bye right now because I got to get to my next patient, but have a great day and uh, keep dry.